So guys, here we are again. <laughs> Giacomo James, Giacomo James, singer, bassist, punk rocker. Oh, I broke so much stages with my bass and my microphone. Uh, singing loud, fucking loud for the crowd. Yeah, yeah. And for the girls, especially. So, um, here my t-shirt or rancid from Indestructible Tour 2003. She is still alive, it is still alive. <laughs> she is, it is, this t-shirt is female. <laughs> so she is. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, in Italian, we, we don't have it, it like uh, word. We have uh, uh, female or masculine. <laughs> so, um, Second rancid song, this time from the most famous record ever by this band from 1995 and Out Come the Wolves. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, this is not the best song of the record, but it is very famous because uh, you will discover why. You will discover why. <ride> Ragazzi, ciao! Sono qui di nuovo, mi conoscete? Giacomo, eh, canto, suono in tanti palchi, ho suonato, ho cantato. E stasera vi faccio sentire la seconda canzone di Renzi, tratta dal loro disco più famoso, And Dark and the Wolves. Questa canzone è la prima del disco, non la migliore, ma famosissima, fatta spesso anche dal vivo e poi scoprirete perché. So, uh, you know, I suggest you my own music and I react to the music you suggest. Next one I have, I think, an Iron Maiden song, Phantom of the Opera, uh, yeah, <laughs> ready to react again to the music you suggest, but listen to this one. So, ragazzi, prossima Phantom of the Opera dei Dream Theater, scusate, degli Iron Maiden, degli Iron Maiden, Iron Maiden, scusate Iron Maiden fans, ovviamente volevo dire Iron Maiden e ho avuto un rifuso. E adesso sentiamoci sto pezzo punk puro this cover is very famous friends it don't come the walls um, there are some t-shirt give them the booth the boot give them the boot uh, because of a lyric from uh, roots radicals roots radicals the most famous song of this record give them the booth the root the radical, give them the both, you know I'm a radical, give them the both, the root, the reggae, or my stereo, maybe I, I will make you listen. So, uh, this band is inspired from Clash, uh, UK, great, epic, uh, heroic punk band from UK. Ragazzi, loro sono ispirati a Clash, questa copertina è famosissima. Eh, ci sono anche le magliettine che vende boot prese dalla canzone che vi ho cantato, la più famosa del disco, Roots Radical. Go! So, so far, you listen to the street punk, the street punk garage, garage vibes, <laughs> garage, 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 garage punk, I don't know, <laughs> in English. And these two voices so far, back, back a little bit, this is a short song, one minute and thirty song, less than two minutes. So, again, listen to these voices, the first one is from Lars Fredriksen. The guitarist and second singer, um, the other is from Tim Armstrong, the frontman, the leader of this band and the composer. And listen to the bass line, bass line.
So, guys, just listen, <laughs> 1 minute 26 seconds, maybe first time you meet uh, a punk song, but this record and that kind of walls, this is the first one, like an introduction song, uh, 20, 19 songs, 19 songs, and not all 1 and 26. So, <laughs> but you heard, you heard uh, a punk song and you heard that also these uh, street punk voices, yeah, and this bass is the leader, the bass is, and this band is the leader. Have you listened to this freaking out solo? Yeah, I know you want to listen again. Max Murder from you. So, listen again. So, <laughs> this was your first punk rock song, punk song, UK style, Clash style. Okay, so um, next time I react to a Dream Theater song, enjoy again listening to the song and this record <laughs> uh, is not close to uh, metalheads and progressive rock fans, I know because Rancid are very punky but I think changing a bit your mindset you can appreciate this basis and this music comes from the street you look it, 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 it talk about uh, a story about killing a murder so street situation see you next time goodbye ragazzi avete sentito che bassista pazzesco vi ho fatto risentire da solo, eh, sicuramente se, avete, se siete metallari o, o, o gente che ama progressi però questa è la cosa più lontana, ci possa essere perché è puro punk, però se, se un attimo provate a mettervi nell'ottica con queste situazioni di strada, eh, assassini in strada, si, assass cioè eh, situazioni proprio di, di vita vissuta, di sobborghi, è figo, figo veramente. E questi sono Clash stile.